Hey everyone! So I'm coming back at you again for the second time today. Woo! I finally got some time to actually work on my stuff by myself. And it's great because the house is quiet. It's just me and my makeup. So part one, two, and three uh, of my seven part series is all on YouTube now. Makeup Mayhem and Inspiration is the channel. And please feel free to subscribe and uh, enjoy. <laughs> okay, so part four is actually going to be a lip and cheek. So I've already done my regular face. Now we're going to do some lip and cheek. So I have just a few colors of lip and cheek in my palette. Uh, I would like to get some more, but for right now, this is what I am working with. So one, uh, big thing for folks to do is usually combine different colors. Now, while that is awesome and you can certainly find different colors that you like, uh, with a combination, I prefer to be super simple and kind of not have to mix too many things and make it, uh, extra steps. So that is my goal is to make it easy for you, you know, as few as steps as possible and still look amazing and love your look. So the one I'm going to use today, one of my favorites is actually this pink grapefruit color. It's definitely pink. So you will see that, but there are different ways to kind of make it a little different. Now, while I'm not a big fan of mixing the different colors I do however love to put an eyeshadow color over it to give it a different look I know so crazy never knew I could do that but one of the things I love about doing that is it helps it staying powder or powder <laughs> power it helps it staying power so it doesn't come off as as easily so I that's personally why I like it I also like it because with some of our really cool shimmer colors, like it just gives it a different dimension of wow. Now you can definitely do that with like an illuminator, like pearl here. That is a cream one. Uh, and our lip and cheek are cream based. Our eyeshadows, we have a handful of cream based ones, but most of them are going to be powder. Actually like 99.9% .9 of them are powder. There's only four cream colors. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I like to wear pink grapefruit with my color Gigi. And this is a purplish, like light purplish color, but it really gives it a kind of cool look. So I'm going to show you guys that. And I'm also going to show you how to apply onto your cheek as well. Now, that's the great thing about Saint. Everything does more than just one thing. So lip and cheek. And I love that you can just use your finger to put it on. Now, if you like to do anything else with that, you certainly can. Now, I almost forgot. I'm going to go ahead and grab my multitasker brush. And I'm actually going to line my lips. Now, I would never have done this before, honestly, because I wasn't pretty much a makeup person. But it gives you the look of fuller lips. And... I am going to line my lips with my contour color. So again, like I said, Saint Makeup always does more than one thing. So what we're going to do, I found this really cool trick from one of the other artists, Mary. And so you kind of put like an X to start. Okay, right there. I know I like a little mustache on my lip. And then I'm going to start kind of lining under. You can kind of make it as thick or as thin as you want. So this is a great way to make smaller lips for. And we're going to kind of blend it together a bit. So don't worry if you get off a little bit. And then you come up. From each side as you can see it's landing pretty nicely as you can see I don't know how to at least I'm not going out of the lines but oh let's see 
So we're gonna go with this side. And this is the great part. Like, I love that this, I already have it in my palette. I know that makes such a huge difference. I mean, some of the tricks that I've learned is insane. They don't add much time to your routine, but boy, do they look like it made you take hours longer. So lining the lips is one of those items. So I am not against using my fingers to apply. But however, we do have this multitasker brush, a great little point for lining your lips. And then this is great for actually putting on your lip color. Uh, I've also used it as putting on eye color uh, because, crazy alert, you can actually use a lip and cheek on your eye. I know. So I've done that before when I'm in a really big hurry and I don't have time to like really mess with it. I'll just boop, boop throw some on now you can put it on with your finger too there so easy great options different ways you can put it on different ways you can wear it that is what makes it so amazing so i'm just going to use my finger which make sure that your hands are nice and clean before you start touching your face your mouth your eyes so just make sure you wash your hands before actually putting on any makeup all right so i'm just going to use my finger one of the reasons I love using my finger is it warms up the makeup. And since it's cream based, the warmer it gets, the easier it is going to be to blend. So I'm just going to put on some pink right here. Let's see, I told you it's super pink. Definitely not nearly as pink as it looks, but it is pink. So I'm going to go back in here. Can you tell I have never really wore lipstick before in my life? And you know how I it on, right? Like, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming they're all right because it looks fine. I'm going to blot that together a little. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Yes. Okay. So, now I'm going to do that other trick that I told you, well, told you about. I'm going to use my Gigi to put over my look to make it way different so let's take a quick picture right now of it by itself now Gigi one of the reasons I bought it is my grandson calls me Gigi and I do love the purple as well so it has a great meaning for me and I like the color win-win okay so I'm just gonna kind of Tap it on. And what I like to do after I use any shadow on my lip is I'm going to spray it with 70% um, at 70% alcohol solution. So that is going to kill any bacteria because I definitely don't want to take anything from my mouth to my eyes. Yeah. So do you see how it gave it kind of a little purplish hue? Mm hmm And it makes it a little shimmery because Gigi is one of our shimmer um, shadows. So I'm going to take it and do top lip. And I just love the way this color turns out. Now I am going to do a little pressing, but it's definitely not tacky anymore because of the shadow. And I've noticed when I go to drink my water uh, from my bottle that it doesn't leave a lot on it. So it might leave a little shimmer because of the shadow, but my pink isn't going on there. So that is what I really, really like about that is that it's gonna let the staying power kind of stay there which that, I don't really know if that made any sense but hopefully you get what I'm saying another way to do that is also by using our vanilla dusting powder so if you aren't into eyeshadow over your lip and cheek the vanilla dusting powder is translucent so you can certainly use that to set your lip as well uh there's some other 
you know translucent powders out there on the market that you can use as well i have elf um i've used that i tried air spun because i saw a couple of other artists use that to kind of set their look but it kind of left me i felt like a little oily by the end of the day so i just not a, a big fan of that one i don't know if i just bought the wrong type but uh i'm not a big fan but setting your look is a different uh part of our series so i'll go into more detail on that but so if you look mm, beautiful so we're gonna take another picture because i want to see the before and after and i want to be able to show people that because i love how it looks i love it all right so we are done with our lip how easy right super easy even if you just use one color don't line it and just use the color you're good to go and there's many to choose from so i'm gonna go ahead and use that same lip and cheek color my pink grapefruit and i'm gonna use it on my cheeks so i like to smile to it just kind of you know now like i said looks super pink now with the hack we did earlier the cheat hack you can do this part when you're doing the rest what i will say and what i've noticed is it definitely comes out a lot lighter when you do it with your contour and highlight um but it definitely gives it just a little bit so if you don't want extra lots of pink absolutely go for it it's the way to go uh, if you want a little extra color i would wait till after you put all the rest on so we're just gonna kind of you know blend this and as you can see this is definitely pink it's giving me you know that rosy ro rosy little pink color like so i pinch my cheeks and uh that wouldn't be surprising because there's a lot there uh, and I'm just going to blend a little extra because I don't want super pink. Mm -hmm. Now, say you get a little too much and you're like, whoa, I need to tone it down. That's a simple fix. And I feel like I got a little too much on this side versus this side. So happy mistake, right? You know what Bob Ross says? Happy mistake. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of my mane. I'm just going to kind of put it where I think that it shouldn't. I need to lighten. And look at that. Look at that. Ah, I know. So great. So I love that it's one compact as well. So, you know, I got all my creams all my powders and if i need to make an adjustment i'm not digging back when i put something back already because i don't know about you guys but i can't stand a mess where i'm doing my makeup like it's i don't like clutter well i mean if you see my room you would say tabs but that's a lie but when it comes to certain things i don't like clutter so i would normally like put whatever i'm done using back but then when you need to fix something, you got to dig it back out. So love that I don't have to worry about that because these all stay right there, right where I put them. So our lip and cheek is done, as you can see. So I'm just going to take a couple pictures because I love to kind of see the process. And if anyone wants to see different angles or you know just different things i like to show that all right so part four lip and cheek we are done i know okay so part five is gonna be our eyes i thought it was gonna be part four because i like eyes but apparently i did lip and cheek because maybe it's a little simpler uh but we are gonna do eyes next and with that i'm also going to show you some brow tricks which is awesome that i learned uh, from my other saint artist friend Lisa so she showed me and at first I was like mm, I'm not gonna do it but it makes such a big difference so I'm excited to share that with you guys in the next part so join me again 
I'm going to get this one posted on YouTube for you guys. Don't forget, Makeup Mayhem and Inspiration. And I'm excited to show you guys the next couple parts. So join me and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.